so we are given a ring where the linear charge density varies as lambda not cos phi where phi is this angle we need to find the field at the center of the ring and on the axis of the ring at a distance x so first let's find it at the center so we'll take a small element at a at an angle phi so we find a small electric field de because of that element and let's break it into two components d cos phi and d sin phi so first thing is what is the charge on this element so that dq is lambda times linear charge times the length with length is r d phi so dq is lambda not r into cos phi d phi we just put the value of lambda as lambda not cos phi now due to symmetry see if you see the field due to this component and field due to this component so due to this component it will be like this now their magnitudes will be same but their directions are like this so vertical components will get cancelled out so only horizontal component will remain you can also see that from a symmetry also so this part is symmetrical to this part so negative charge is here positive charges are here so net field should be towards left so we'll only only consider de cos phi so ex due to this element is dex is equal to de cos phi de is k dq which is this pi r square times cos phi so we integrate this quantity and we'll integrate it over the over the whole circle so this will be cos square d phi cos square phi d phi which over the 0 to 2 pi is a standard result for cos square for a full cycle is pi so this gives ex as k pi lambda not by r which is our answer for the field at the center of the ring now let's talk about the axis of the ring now before i show you the solution if you have attempted question number 3.7 in the erodo try to take a hint from there because the solution the method and approach is going to be similar so what we did in problem number 3.7 so you can try again and i'll show you the solution now so let's take let's have a side view of the ring and we need to find the electric field at an axial point which is at a distance x so we are going to use uh, shift the ring like this so that positive charge is on the top and negative charge is on the bottom so let's take the two small elements on the top and the bottom symmetrical elements so due to this element field will be this and due to this element field will be along this line now because the charge distribution is similar only the signs are different the magnitudes will be same of both the fields so the net field will be vertically downwards so dep is the net field due to pair of elemental charges so dep is because of both of these elemental charges not just one due to this one it's this due to this one it is this but our dep de pair is because of both and it is vertically downwards now what will be its value so it will be obviously 2 de sin theta so this is theta this is also theta so vertical components will be added up for both of them that should be de 2 de sin theta now de if we consider this distance is 2k dq which is lambda dl by r square square of this times sin theta sin theta will be r upon root of x square plus r square which gives this value so now let's see the top view of this same diagram so this dep which we saw is here dep1 
because of the top and the bottom elemental pairs if you take different different pairs so i have drawn this this is a pair 2 of positive and negative this is pair 4 of positive and negative this is pair 5 again of positive and negative so due to each of these pairs you can see that small deps the fields due to these pairs will look like this just observe this diagram carefully until you get it so here the field the here the charge density is more so dep1 is more in length and as you go towards the pairs which are near the axis the magnitude of the fields become less and less but due to the symmetrical pairs every every elemental pair will have its symmetrical pair which will cancel out the horizontal components so due to symmetry only y component remains so now we can comfortably write the total electric field due to the ring will be dep cos phi so this is the y component of all the eps so let's find the electric field it will dep cos phi dep we calculated here we just put that here and value of lambda now we will substitute lambda not cos phi and dl should be rd phi so this whole electric field is due to again one pair of elemental charges at the center which is making phi angle with the with the diameter so we put the limits of phi as 0 to pi we are not putting 0 to 2 pi because when we are considering pairs so when we start from here and when we finish here because of pairing of the elemental charges the whole ring will be covered so that's why the limits is limits are from 0 to pi so again this is standard result for cos square phi d phi 0 to pi is pi by 2 which gives our answer this so i'll quickly tell you once more what we did here so we took two elemental charges a pair of charges which where the density is similar same actually so due to the charge density is same the horizontal components will cancel out and we will have vertical components now if you take such vertical components of all such pairs you will again see that here the horizontal components again cancel out see this horizontal component is different than this horizontal component this is along x direction which is getting cancelled out and these components are along z directions which are getting cancelled out so only y directional components will remain so we'll take one of the deps and so any one of them so here so we'll take this dp and because we know that the other the z direction components will cancel out we'll only take it in y direction that will be dep cos phi so dep value we derived here which is just a simple mathematics and lambda we put lambda not cos phi this will be rd phi so limits of phi 0 to pi because when we go from here to here we cover the whole ring because the elements are paired so value of this is pi by 2 and that gives our answer